know when they had to program the beat, they had to put their headphones into a different socket instead of when it was coming through the board. You understand? So uh, that didn't happen last time because last time I was sitting at the board and with me sitting at the board, I didn't have to worry about that that issue. Um, so uh, that's about it. Um, now... Um, So, being that I'm used to being there to control the volume, I don't even have a camera on me right now, right? Right, Crusoe? No cameras on me right now. Did you just hear my voice? Okay, that's cool. Y'all know what I look like. Kind of chubby, but uh, I lost 43 pounds. Uh, now I'm tightening it up. Getting ready for the summer. <laughs> so anyway, how do y'all feel? Do you feel like you accomplished enough to, to, to play a, a finished beat? It's a, it's a start. One, two, one, two. That is DJ Skids. Uh, obviously, the camera's on him, so uh, you can see that that uh, wh where he's coming from. Like I said, uh, 15 minutes, I mean, I'm not a 15-minute beat maker. Uh, if the pressure's on, I could do it. What's that? What'd you say, Skids? Uh, all right, we're good. We're good. Oh, yeah, Headphones yeah. I taken. just connected it because the music from what I was playing was leaking so loud right. that I didn't want it to interrupt. I didn't want it to... Uh, to interrupt what y'all were doing, so <clears throat> that was the reason why. So I unplugged it. Uh, you're back on now. You yes, 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 yes. Okay, yeah, like yeah. I said, do you feel like you got enough to be able to play a beat? Yeah, a little something. You know what I mean? I, I definitely had to approach it a certain way with the time constraints. Normally, yeah, you know, wouldn't I, make it like that. But you know, let me it's ask all good. you: in your regular, just making a beat for an artist or whatever, do you have? Does it? take you a certain rough amount of time or is it based off of who the artist is or do you make beats just to have a stack of beats ready how do you usually do it it's it's very up and down for me i'm kind of like based on the feeling how i'm feeling at any given time a day could just be i don't know just random you know what i mean and so sometimes a beat might happen in five minutes sometimes it might take a couple hours Really depends. Now, if you know you're working with an artist, like say you're doing an EP of, right. uh, of, of, of an artist with like maybe, you know, for five songs, are you going to go in and pull beats you have or do you do both? Cook some for that probably artist? Probably a combination, maybe a combination if, it, if the stuff that I have fits in with the vibe that I'm trying to create for that artist. Static, what about you? Got to get this microphone situated. Uh... I mean, sometimes I make shit in five minutes. Sometimes it takes an hour. It depends. Now, if you were doing an EP, would you pull from stuff you have first, or would you do you like to cook for the artists that you're working with? Both. I, I mean, I love to cook from from uh, scratch. Only a couple artists are really down to do that. When you did your uh, your project, the Trill, the uh, well, no, not Trill Static, the one where everybody came in and did the out, not not the Saigon album, the the one that you did where Trill everybody, Static. yeah, Trill Static, okay. When you did that one, did you cook every beat? Not during it, because Bun had to pick the beats ahead of time. Because you realize Bun wrote every lyric live in front of the cameras. Right. And I mixed and mastered the whole album and recorded it wow. live. So, like, it, it would have been impossible to, to actually make all the beats. Like, he would have had to like every beat. You know what I mean? Right. So, with that, he picked them about a week ahead of time.